We have two types of aliens. I think I have a gray. I think we have almost like a bug eye lizard. I am somewhere where I haven't been in a really long time. Freaking scary. I do got my friend James. He's somewhere over there. So we're going to be at some point meeting up and also completely disconnecting and being alone. I did the Alone in the Dark series, my very first one, and it was here at the Nevada State Prison. Let me show you how scary it is here. Oh, come on. There we go. I mean, you could, you could see how gnarly this place is very very active prison i'm going to kind of share some of the history with you there's also some history of alien beings being here i'm i'm not sure james heard that story no i didn't hear anything you know there's a cave over there well they made it for one particular inmate he was in there for seven years and he was lobotomized yeah. Wow. What do you think of this place, bro? It was very spooky from being here last time and what I experienced. And the fact that you and I are going to be splitting up in here is honestly a little terrifying. You know, it's our first time here together. Yeah, I was just saying that. Yeah, my friend Kelsey did her alone series or her alone episode here. You were pushed here, weren't you? Yeah, I'll show you where I was pushed. Okay. I was oh, right in here. That's why you, this area scares you the most. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the area that scares me the most is over there. Well, so there's a couple around. areas that scare me, but this is probably up there. Yeah. Is in here. This is culinary, a.k.a. the, I don't know, lunchroom or whatnot. And in the 1970s, there was a big riot between African Americans and Native Americans. Native Americans. And I two, in. yeah, yeah, real sad story. And two bled out right over there, and that's where I was pushed. And a lot of people get pushed right there. They never get told. Right where, the right where they bled out. out. Yeah, right yeah. where they bled out. I didn't catch that. Yeah, and no one told me anything about that. Like I didn't find that out till later on when I was doing interviews. That there was a right here, and the guys bled out right here. This is exactly where I was pushed too. I'll tell you what, man, <laughs> it is way freakier when you're walking around here by yourself. So brace yourself. Yeah, James and I, we're going to be completely disconnected. I mean, we might hang out in here for a little bit. Hey, did Susan tell you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, bro, dude, I think I caught that on camera. Oh, crap. I had the camera facing the wrong way. Of course. Dude, right behind that door, I saw like like things going back and it was almost like two or three people walking by no way i swear can no you do that again look i think you did it again that's oh my god dude that's where they oh my god i don't want to see it yet hey so susan snapped a photo in here it was right over here wait no i'm lost where was that photo oh it's is it let me know in the comments if you guys see anything. No, it wasn't here. Oh. That's up by the front where the officers were. Okay, look. She caught an alien. But they call them greys. Maybe that's what you just saw. Maybe. I know what room you're talking about. She was telling me about it. It's like a gigantic. Oh, no, 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 wait. That's the room. Wait, come on. No, 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 no. Well, no that, there's a portal in there. There is a portal in there. Yeah. But I want to show you. This is where. So. Yeah, you can see it's in here. I didn't want to go in here. But Susan was telling me, you know, Jack Osborne and. Um, Maybe Kelly, or yeah. Sharon, I don't know which one. They, they have like a paranormal show. Well, they came here, and Susan said she was going to take a, a Polaroid picture from right here, and then Jack said he's going to take a picture right there, facing that way. Mm -hmm. And in his picture, you can see it, is a blue light. 
looks like a portal of a, like a blue light yeah. right there. No so kidding. that's why they think it's a portal room, and I, I'm not into going into portal rooms. No. Last time I did that, I ended up losing somebody really close to me. Actually, the last two times. Yep, two times, the last exactly. I think it's over here. Well, this is sweet. Wait till we split up. Oh. I'm already scared with you. I don't know what to think by myself. Hello? Oh, it's right over here. So these doors right here, I think these are like safes or freezers or something. Yeah, they're freezers. Susan snapped a photo and caught like a full blown looking alien creature in there. And it was gray, bro. It was freaky. I have that in the very first video that I did here. I have that photo. It was right in here. Can you show yourself again? It was freaky. It like appeared and disappeared. Maybe it was in this one. Weird. What's in there? I can't really see anything too well. I'm just getting into the collection. I kept hearing like somebody walking above me and there's no second floor here. It was like a oh, oh. I don't know. There's a lot of activity in this little hallway right here. Can you make a noise for us? Do another tap for us. Okay, we're going to leave. Keep your eyes open, guys, because... They very easily we're gonna miss something in this video. I feel like we're gonna get something crazy in this video. We always do. This this is one of those places, super haunted, and it's always different every time you come. Super haunted, super active. I don't know what it is about this space though. Like I always feel like an uneasy feeling. I feel like I'm already lost in here. In case you're wondering, that is like a warm sack. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know, it's like a hand warmer. I think that's what it is. I mean, it could be a hand warmer, it could be a football warmer, it could be a... I'm kind of playing with fire a little bit too because I have this like Nevada State hoodie, or um, beanie, sorry, and then I'm wearing one of the actual um, CO. This was a CO's jacket. So I know that's gonna probably trigger some ghosts here that were prisoners and I just want them to know I'm not a CO. I'm just wearing a jacket that I found and it's really warm because it's really cold here. Oh dude, it's already, it's already freaky when you're walking around by yourself like this. Oh God. So what happened when you got pushed over here? I don't know. I felt at first like maybe I lost my footing mm -hmm. and then I just like tripped over this and ended up on the other side of the gate right there. Like it was just like I didn't get hurt. Like it was just kind of caught me off guard. You know what I mean? Mm. Like it wasn't a super violent push. Right? It was kind of like a, you know, get out the way kind of push. You know I mean? mm -hmm. Oh, guess what we get to do tonight that, and it's probably something that we should do oh, together. I'm to keep it a secret. You're going to keep it a secret? I was keeping that a secret. All right. Well, we have something really special planned for you. Really special. And no we're going to, yeah, no one's ever done this before. No one, I, I don't even think Jack Osborne, I mean, maybe I haven't watched their episode. I know they did an awesome episode here. Would be the first one. Yeah. yeah. 
So yeah, we got something that's really cool that we're gonna do a little bit later. So, and it's gonna be scary, very bold. Bro, it's gonna be scary to me if we slid up. Oh God, not looking forward to that. Not looking forward to that. Keep on feeling like you're talking. Yeah, thank you. Is there anything that you want to do, say? Oh, what the fuck? Did you hear that? Came from that way. Like out there. As I was asking, it almost sounded like an alien. It sounded the two that had a weird noise. It wasn't human and it didn't sound like an animal. Can you do that again? We gotta go out that way, bro. Alright. Thank you for hanging out with us for a little bit. Make sure you're polite. James is pretty polite when he wants to be. Oh my God, it's so cold outside. Oh God. And it's going to be cold where we're going right now. You're going to close that? Like if it's open, we know like... Yeah. So when we were kind of getting a tour of the place, because it's something that we like to do, just kind of feel it out and get kind of caught up on some of the history and stuff. We were getting ready to go into this entrance on the left here. And one of the ladies, one of the docents heard a scream. Remember she said something about a scream. Did you hear the scream? Uh, yeah, I did. I didn't hear it. Yeah, and they may have caught it on camera or like on a recorder or something. I was just reminding everybody this is an uncut, unedited, no music added. Just yeah, as we just experience wrong. it. It's funny because Omar said the other day, it helps the fans feel like they're there with us. But it also, why I'm filming this, it makes me feel like they're there with us too. It's like a live stream. It's like a live stream, yeah. So I like it. Now here's the thing, bro. One of us is going to the right. One of us is going to the left. I don't know which one's going to be what. I'll make it easy for you. I'll go left, you go right. Oh, you want to go to the death chambers? Okay. Wait. <laughs> I guess. You picked... But we'll we'll meet up there later together. Like we should go hit that up together Do later. You want to meet back right here? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna check out the other floors first. What minute are you on? Like on your recording? Uh, same as you. 13, like like 12. thirteen. Okay, that's where I'm at. So why don't we around thirty meet right back here? All right. Deal. Is that cool? I like that. All right. Oh shoot! All right. I don't like it. Oh, shoot. How the heck did Kelsey walk around here by herself? My flashlight's getting messed with. It's like dimming. Can you stop messing with my flashlight? Please? Tell you what, when you're in a place like this, by yourself, you're on a whole nother level of fear. It is quiet in here, but you're gonna hear my shoes a little bit. Oh, 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 don't stop. Stop messing with my flashlight. Please stop messing with my flashlight. Oh, gosh. It is legit messing with my flashlight. Look, I'm not... I'm not messing with the button or anything. It just keeps dimming on its own.
Okay, just want to let you know that I am protected by the blood of Jesus. Whatever is here that's evil is not allowed to touch me because I belong to God. But I do want to document whatever is here. You're not allowed to touch my flashlight either. Oh, stop messing with my flashlight, dude. Please stop messing. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Please stop. Look, I'm not doing anything to my flashlight. Literally, it's like something messing with it. Wow, that's never happened like that before. I'm going to be polite. I'm going to be respectful. And I ask you to do the same. phone flashlight because this one's getting messed with a lot there is something very terrifying we're gonna go up there in a little bit um, I want to say that right here Susan was telling me that an inmate came to visit her that used to be in this cell right here and at 11.30 every evening, while he was in this cell, he would watch a dark shadow figure go through the hallway and run the other way. And he would see it every single night. And he shared that with her. I thought that was very interesting. Oh, it's messing with my flashlight again. with me because he is on the other side of Nevada State Prison right now. All right. I'm officially freaked out, not gonna lie. But with that said, I do got some lighting here. Haven't been messing with my light. I promise you too, I did not have my finger on that button or anything. It was just like draining my flashlight. And this has got a full charge. This light, when it starts dying, it starts turning red. So that was like really weird that it was just like starting to go dim. I'm gonna actually have this face that way just in case we do see something. I'm actually going to take my gloves off. Ew. Why did I look in the toilet? Oh gosh. I take that back. That's the most haunted part of this whole prison. Why well, just close me out? Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Alright. I 
that's the thing about the mad state too is while you're here I mean you can really hear things it's so quiet so when you hear something like you hear something and you hear it good so upstairs a little bit where I'm going to take you Tammy um, Susan and Mish I think there was somebody else and they were doing like some sort of seance and I forgot what question they asked but it sounded like somebody started stomping their feet towards them it was pretty freaky I I don't know what I would do if I heard that in here by myself I'd definitely be freaked out Scrape them. Scrape what? What's the story about this cell right here and the shadow figure that's been seen? So my friend Mish low-key got possessed upstairs too. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second because we're going to be going in that direction. And Susan, the one who runs Nevada State Prison, big shot with her, uh, Nevada State Prison Paranormal. And also my friend Mish, Ghost Magnet, and Tammy, and Wandering Spirits Paranormal huge friends of mine, but they're always here stirring stuff up and getting it warm and they kind of warmed it up for us before we got here and I'm uh, pretty scared. Amalgamate. What? Am amalgamate. I've, I've never heard of that word. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. So I'm using this light too, just in case this one gets messed with still. Sorry if my shoes are making noise. These floors are very clean and painted. Oh, it's blocked off over here. I know they have a cell somewhere where it's actually decorated. Not decorated, but it's set up the way maybe a prisoner would be. It. Hello? freaked out but excited if I saw that shadow figure at the same time so if you're gonna show yourself do it when maybe I blink or something so the camera catches it and I don't maybe I should take my shoes off they are kind of loud I'm not wearing boots or anything
heard you. I'm not here to cause any harm. You don't have to be afraid of me. I might be startled, but I'm not afraid of you. What the f that happened right in front of me. That's the cell that I told you about. Set up kind of the way a prisoner would have it. We'll go in there a little bit later. Uh, right around here is where my flashlight was getting messed with. I hope it doesn't mess with it again. But if it does, I do have my iPhone light on. I'm sorry I had to kind of walk away because that did kind of freak me out. All right, you can't follow me. All right, look. I know there's gonna be some of you like Omar. Stop being a wuss. When you're here by yourself, it's, it's on another level of fear, like I said. Oh, gosh. I'll turn this around. Right, my flashlight is good. I'm not getting any interference. I do have some squiggly lines on my camera. What was that? What? Sounds like a... Sounds like a man talking. Hello? Like a minute early. You good? I'm good bro. bro. <laughs> I'm freaking scared. Bro, that was one of the scariest things ever. Honestly. Same here. Especially what happened to me in one of the rooms, but I don't want to tell you right now. Okay. I don't want to freak you out. I don't want you to tell me yet. So listen, man, my flashlight, yeah. as soon as I started going down this hall, mm -hmm. started it, it's like some somebody was messing with it. It was like dimming out like on its but like bad. And I had to turn on my iPhone light because it was, it was almost trying to leave me in the dark. And I told it not to mess with my flashlight and it kept doing it. Did, what did you check out in there? What's that? Did you go to all the floors? I went upstairs, yeah, but then I got freaked out because something literally tapped like one of the bars right in front of me. something walking around in there. No way. It was really scary. Now, there's one place I didn't go up here. I, I didn't go to the death chamber. Okay. I figured we can... Yeah, we'll do that together. Okay. Cause Susan opened it up and it's never been opened before. Alright, All right, we'll leave that alone. Yeah. Okay. So that's like the big secret that we wanted to tell. So there's a death chamber here where people were people were put to death. And I've never been able to like be, like go inside. No YouTuber has, no one, no one ever so we're the first ones ever to be able to make a video inside of the oh, death chamber. Sound deprivation in there. Nah. 
So listen. Mish got possessed opening that death chamber. And it's been opened. And I have a feeling that there's something in there right now, like just going through the hallways. Because I, I heard it. Like I heard it loud and clear. Well, let's do this. Let's go in there together where you were. No. Why? How do you mean? But we'll go in there together and then we'll go in here together. No, you got that. I want to show some of that just like you did. We're going to switch now. And I don't want to be alone anymore, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was already alone for like freaking 20 minutes. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Either, but we do it for the fans. Whatever, whatever. whatever. Uh, Alright, what time do you want to meet? At the death chambers. Damn. Oh, we're going to meet at the death chambers? No, we should meet right here again. Uh, you want to meet right here? I had a 45. 45? 45. All right. All right. That's 15, 14 minutes. Where did you hear that thing walking around? I, just, I don't want any part of that. Oh, God. It sucks in here. Say hello to it for me. James is recording in real time. So you can go to his video and kind of see like what he caught. Supposedly he caught somebody walking up here. So quiet, all you hear is me walking. It sucks. Hey, these cells are so little. Ugh. I don't want to be here. If you haven't already, please smash that like button because this is way out of my comfort zone. I mean, I don't even think you know. But on a positive note, if I didn't have you here with me, I'd probably be 10 times more scared. James didn't even tell me where he heard that walking, so I guess I'm gonna have to hear that or figure that out for myself, if it does happen. So we don't know if maybe the spirits that are here are connected to extraterrestrials. There has been this black blob that appears mainly in the area that James and I are going to finish this off with in the death chambers or close to it. Gosh. Guess we're going upstairs. Uh, first, let's take a peek around the corner. Lucy, I'm home.
Oh, I know what this is. This is solitary. I think. You know, nothing's been messing with my flashlight. Oh, okay, I remember. They eventually changed the doors to clear like this because the prisoners were complaining that they never saw daylight. It was usually just dark all the time because this is solitary, so. They eventually thought it was cruel and they added these doors and they were clear. If I'm not mistaken, I think there was a shootout inside this hallway and there's bullet holes on the other side. My God, it's scary in here. My ears just started ringing. monkey business. Who are these guys? What up, guys? Squeaky Marshall. Interesting name. Whoa. Look at that. It's like a big holding cell. Oh, here are the bullet holes I told you about. See? Yeah, those are bullet holes. Yeah, they got to a shootout. I think some of the prisoners stole some guns and the FBI came in here and I don't think anybody was killed. I don't know exactly when that happened. Gosh, darn. What if you just saw like something running towards you right now? Like, what would you do? You know what I would do? Echo pee pee. Kaka pee pee. Yeah, number one and number two. What would you do? I don't care what anybody says. Any tough guy, seven foot tall, Shaquille O'Neal, they're all afraid of the dark. Everybody's afraid of the dark. Like we're just afraid of the unknown, you know? I'm sure there's gonna be some tough, you know, mother humper watching this video. I ain't gonna be the dark. I mean, look, I'm afraid of the dark to an extent. Like, I mean, Bro, I'm like in the most haunted place ever. By myself right now. Throw me a freaking bone here. It's freaking creepy. Just trying to hype myself up here. Okay. I'm scared. Is there any way, like, y'all can make a little noise, politely? I burped. That wasn't a ghost or anything. Hello? Your peeps next door were pretty aggressive. Thank y'all for being patient with me and friendly. I mean, I hope you are. Pretty sure that's closed off over there. So I have to walk all the way around, go back to the scary part. Oh, 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 face. 
Ups. I'm gonna play this again. Red. Red. Makes no sense. But maybe there was an inmate, you know, they have a lot of nicknames. Maybe there was one named Red. I have a tattoo artist named Red. Who's Red? I mean, a lot of red in here. Blood, that is. Miracle. Yes, we did have a miracle happen. And if you missed that video, make sure to watch it. We witnessed a man that was about to do the inevitable. He was about to jump off of a building. And we started talking to him. Police were there. Awesome video. And I was filming it because I wanted to film a miracle happen. Joel. And I'm just going to have to watch that video. Because it's pretty amazing. I feel like an angel showed up. But yeah, there was a miracle. I'm sure there was miracles here too. I'm certain of it. Certifiably. You guys are pretty quiet in here. 100. <laughs> 100 what? Inmates? Or 100% you're being quiet? I have a feeling like there's going to be something that's just not quite. Be nice. Help speak. What? Help speak. Oh well, yeah, that's what this app does. Is it helps you speak? Helps you. In front of it. Kevin, who's Kevin? Is Kevin up here? I have a feeling this. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hey, Kevin. How you doing, buddy? Seance. Nineteen sixties. Yeah, there was a seance. You're right, but it was on the other other side. In the other building. Negative. Oh, is it here? There's the infirmary. Hey, Kevin. Correct. Frequency. Discarnate. Discarnate? Oh, that's fancy. I wonder what this button does. Crime. Oh, crime. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people committed crimes that were in here. And you know what's sad? No voice. When you see a place like this and you see the living conditions, like there was people that served time here that didn't do anything wrong. They were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. It's kind of sad. You know, people get convicted of things that they don't even do. Sure there's there's some... something dark here. I know that. But I'm not trying to see it. Like I said, if it wants to show itself, I'm going to close my eyes. Oh my gosh.
you gotta meet James. Kinda late already. If there is something dark here, you're not allowed to follow me. So I'll put that out there. Please stay here. I'll go back from where you came from. Wherever it was. noises like James did so if you want to hear that or see that definitely check out this video um, James is supposed to be out here and he's not so James! Oh, I see him. I see life. What up, bro? You good? Yeah, this this place is crazy. Did you go upstairs? Yeah. You did? Not to the second floor. Okay. I just went to the third and fourth floors. Oh, you did? Yeah. You don't look so good. You look like, all right, I feel like you saw a ghost or something. Bro, I feel like... Yeah, it was, I was really scared. Man. It's not really scary having the building you were just in. You didn't, you didn't have anything happen? Um, it was actually kind of quiet over there, but I did did hear like a couple like mild noises. Did you go through like, the infirmary or all the way around? I didn't walk to the infirmary. That's the only place I did not uh, walk. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to tell you what happened because I actually did. Well, tell me what happened because, yeah, you, you kind of left me in the dark on that. Dude, you know, I was up there and like, I got lost and started panicking. And then all of a sudden, as I was walking out, I hear a freaking door slam. A door like, slam? Yeah, like, it was like one of these doors slamming. Like, you just, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta see it, dude. Hey, did you go in here? Check this out. They have this, they have this cell, like, set up for, you know, kind of like what it would look like. Oh, yeah. If somebody was living here. Pretty cool. Like there's their shoes, there's their cot. This is probably super uncomfortable. Two people would have to share this. This is oh, this sucks. Did they actually have TVs in prison? I doubt it. Yeah. Did you see any electrical outlets over there? Yeah. Really? There is one right there, but I don't know if it's. Well, maybe then. I could maybe be wrong. Just this side does. Hmm. It was bad, you know. Oh, it is a different ballgame when you're by yourself. Dude, right? It is. Like, I feel different already. I almost feel, like, relieved. <laughs> like, yeah. who are you here? I almost feel like whatever is here kind of uh, almost feeds off of you being alone. Yeah. And it wants to make you feel uncomfortable. 100%, yeah. But, I mean, don't get it twisted. It's still freaking scary. <laughs> Especially where we're going right now. I actually don't want to go up there. Oh, I, went, I, I went, I, I was in filming and I walked up there. I'm like, all right, I'm going to just show you guys that area first real quick. Yeah. And then as I was walking towards it, I'm like, eh, you know what, man? That is kind of freaky. Maybe I'll just go show that to you guys <laughs> later. Like, it was, dude, it's, it's a different feeling. As soon as you go down that hallway right there, that's where death row starts. Different vibe. Way different. Oh, look, you dropped your sack. Oh, another sack. No, actually, I think that's mine. It's a little, little warming sack. 
Did you leave your sack on the floor? I did leave my, my warm sack. Oh, so this is where I was a little bit ago, and I kept, I was walking down this hall right here. Why are you messing around, bro? <laughs> I didn't think you were looking. So look, I was right here, and I heard something like down the hall. Maybe, it, let's see if it does it while we're both here. Yeah. It did it down the hall, and then it kind of freaked me out. I backed off, and then it like hit one of these bars right in front of me. And that's when I was just like, eh, hey, time to go. <laughs> <laughs> so let's be real quiet. And you want to ask, like, for it to hit? Like, sure, I'd love you to make some noise. All right, I'm back. You want to make some noises again? Well, now you're going to be quiet. Hello? So freaky in here. Someone's too quiet. Could you imagine? I mean, even just the prisoners being in here. Mm -hmm. So, right in this room right here, I don't know if you heard Susan. She was telling us how at 11.30 at night, every night there was an inmate because he came to visit her. Mm -hmm. But there was an inmate that would stay in this cell and he would see a dark shadow figure every single night walk out of one of these cells and walk that way every night. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it goes to show you this place was haunted even when it was an operational prison. There were so many deaths here, you know? A lot of bad that happened in here. Some stuff that we'll never know, too. True. All right, we going up there? Yes, so. Did Susan ever show you that video of that blob that appeared? No, she's like, gonna send it to me. Oh my God, it's terrifying. I feel like it's more like alien, more than anything. Oh, it's so much colder over here. I'm gonna show you where they did the seance and something started walking towards them. It's right over here. And this is also where Susan has that blob up here right behind her. Oh gosh. If you look at my very first video that I did here, I have a video of that. Oh, okay. You could screen record it. It's right in here. So somebody was filming her from right here and she, she had her head right here and it like something came out of these bars was trying to touch her it was like a hand well that's where they were doing the seances too right in there well they did the seance there recently and then there was like stomping it almost sounded like somebody was stomping with boots down this hallway isn't this where the women were you have an echo meter i do okay stop because I didn't want to mm -hmm. have the opportunity to catch something so I just kept filming and filming and filming and my out of nowhere my camera dies right there and I lost like 45 minutes of footage from when? this was the very first time I came home oh, and I was so mad because I caught some really good stuff in those first 45 minutes mm -hmm. so I, like mentally I was like damn I gotta make up for that and film some more why well, I ended up recovering the footage that was like corrupt 
because on Sony cameras, at times, if you like, if your battery dies and you're in the middle of recording, you'll lose your footage. It's like you have to hit stop, so it like renders it. And I found this service online that they can like fix that corrupt file, hmm. and I was able to get it back. Did you put it up? Yeah, and I added the extra footage, so it ended up being like a a long video. Oh, it said mind. Are you here with us? Wrong. I said wrong. Are you in the death chamber? Where are you? It's awful quiet over here. Is there any way that you could stomp your feet like you did for the ladies? Stay here. Stay here? Okay, well. That's what we're doing. We're staying here so that we can hear that. Isn't this where the women were? Mm. I think this area is where the women I don't think so. You sure? Would they have been that close to the death chambers? Maybe there was. Yeah. Is this where the women were? Got a little quiet. Turn it off. Turn it off. Maybe it does not like this. Yeah. Well, no, it turned off my camera. It did. It, it turned off my camera the very first time that I was here. Do you remember that? Do you remember draining my battery and turning my camera off, causing me to lose footage? Did your light do that? No. Just turn it off for a minute. EVP it says. We're waiting. I'm happy. You're happy. I'm glad you're happy. Mm -hmm. Can you show us how happy you are doing your happy dance down the hall? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop extra hard. <laughs> <coughs> I said something about happy dance. Yeah. Like, look, what, what's the? That's like such a coincidence. Maybe I want you to dance. I'll dance for you. Oh, what the hell? What? I don't know. I think I just caught like an order. What? All right, we're gonna walk away. Obviously, you're really not into hanging out with us. Over oh, just chill. Maybe they're spoiled because of the seance. Like, illness. Illness. Does that mean that like you don't want to hang out with us because you're sick? Oh, God. Oh, excuse me, bro. I'm on edge. Something is hidden. Something is hidden. What's hidden? We should walk down here. He has gone. Yeah, this is definitely the women's blood. blood. Okay. Somebody must have left flowers for the women. Discernment. I got that word earlier. Do you like your flowers? Died in field. If you notice, the women's section is like... I'm here to warn you. Oh, oh, oh. One spirit. One spirit? Okay. One enough for me. James! Where the freak did he go? Killed. James! Where the fuck are you? Bro, you, like you left me alone and like...
Something happened to me. In your room. Yeah, in the room. I don't know, like the the bars started shaking or something. Watching. And then on the spirit box it said, I'm here to warn you. What? The bar started shaking. Yeah, now it said watching. Alright. Okay, we're out of here. I don't know, but uh, as promised, we're going in probably the scariest part of this entire prison, Nevada State Prison, and we're going to go inside a place that no one has ever gone before, at least on YouTube, and the last time somebody did, they got possessed. Great. There's a whole video of my friend Mish opening up the death chamber and it's almost like, and there is a man that does not like women. He's, he choked 15 women. Well, supposedly like 30 or so. And she like took his form. It was really strange. Did you see this James? So. This is where inmates would have like, I don't know, it's like their final, it'd be like their, the day before their death. And have their final meal. It would be right in here. It's almost like a death, death row. Before I open that though, that actually is already cracked open. Did you see all the inmates that have been put to death here? Bro, I don't know if I want to open that door. You want to yeah. be the one to open the door? Um, I don't know. So this is where they would put inmates to death and we're going to go in there. And this was the viewing area where maybe families of the victims affected, they would just watch them. And I believe it was like a gas, or maybe it was lethal injection, I can't remember exactly. I think it was a gas. And this gas, like it literally chokes you from the inside out. But yeah, Carol Cole, I think they took his picture. Okay, lethal injection. So he has a like a woman's name, and uh, I mean, I've, I don't think I've ever met a man named Carol, but his mom really wanted him to be a girl, and she would dress him up in dresses and kind of abuse them. He ended up hating women, resenting them, and he killed, supposedly like. 30 something women, but he was only charged with 15. I mean, that's still a lot. I think maybe he got away with, I mean, he himself admitted to killing over 30 women, but it was, it was only like 15 or so that, I mean, that's still a lot, but supposedly this is one of the more evil spirits that are here, or maybe it acts like it's him, it's really not. Ready to open that? No. Um, I need for you to open it. I'll open it. I'm gonna attach to whatever sees for us. I'm not gonna attach. It's not allowed to attach to us. Bro. No one has ever opened that. This is, it's heavy in here, bro. It is heavy. Look, there's a picture of Carol. Shadow. Shadow. Baseball. I was a child. 
Yes, you were a child. Yes, you were. She yeah. was killed. She was killed. Did, did you kill her? Did you strangle her? Because that's what I hear you did. Dude, look at all these seat belts. Like, they literally, like, just, they tie you up. Yeah, they really strap you in there. Yeah. I think you should lay on the table. Definitely. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> definitely. Nah, I'm good. So somebody took a picture from the outside and caught this guy, <laughs> this guy's face, like, through the window, almost like if he was peeking. Oh, bro, you got to come in here, dude. It's like, I don't feel good in here. It's it's a really off oh kind of weird God, feeling. Bro. Can you imagine being in here and all you nah. do is you see all the people looking at you? Catherine. 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 Are you naming off names of a gateway? Are you naming off names of women that you killed? It's really messed up what you did. I don't feel good anymore. Right? I feel that it's like a really off. Like I feel, I feel like I got a headache. I'm like dizzy. You know what we should do? Huh? Each of us be in here with that door closed. Yeah. Like locked. Okay. Admire. You first. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll do it. No, I'm kidding. Oh, wait, you just close me in. wait for, real? Minute, for real? For yeah, real? Serious? Yeah. No one's ever done this either. No. Hey, huh. close me, lock it in, and then I want you to come around and see me from the other side. Right, I'm going to do that. Oh, oh. Literally going to lock him in there. I didn't tighten it up all the way. Oh gosh. Get that eerie feeling again. How do you feel in there? You want to lay in the bed? What the hell? Probably a bug. No way. All right, I'll open it up. That didn't last long. <laughs> It is so cold. All right, your turn. Hell no, <laughs> I'm good. Bro, something felt like it literally tapped my shoulder. I saw it. It felt like it was like you, like some, like almost as if you were tapping my shoulder. You look like you're freaking out. Bro, I did freak out. <sighs> Oh, that was weird. Now it's like airtight. Mm. Bam. So Susan says that if you turn off your lights down this hallway, you can see like people walking back and forth at the very end. I don't think you can see anything if you turn the lights off. Well, I mean, there's like a little bit of like a very dim light at the very end. Mm. Let me see if I can here kill your light. Yeah, it's dark. Nah. Now look at all these faces right here, bro. Yeah. These are all the men that were... They died in that order, too. Yeah, they died in there. Right in that room I was just in, I actually felt like that. It was really weird. But it makes me wonder how many of them were innocent. And maybe they were just 
convicted of something that they never did. You know? I mean, that, that does happen. Oh my God, look at what it says here. He killed his five month old son. Like actually it says what he did. Shot constable burning, youngest person executed. Damn, this, this kid was executed, 17 years old. He was the youngest, 17, 17 bro. Terrible. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Did you freaking hear that? Bro, what the hell? Can you tap again? It was obviously one of these pictures. One of them's letting me know they're innocent. Who's innocent? Tap your picture again. Come on. I didn't hear a tap of the picture, but I heard like a noise coming from over here. It was either one of these guys that are innocent. Leroy Linden strangled Clarence Dodd to steal his car. Wait, so both of these guys, how did they both strangle one guy? One of them has to be innocent. You know, maybe he was just an accomplice or he was just at the wrong place at the wrong time with his friend. Maybe one of them made the bad decision to, I guess, murder the other. <sighs> yeah? All right, wait for me, bro. Come on, man. What are you doing? I'll show you this room. This is where you hooked up the hoses and stuff. <laughs> oh, for the yeah, this lethal stuff injection? Was right in there. Oh, See? yeah. This is where they would do it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, look at, look at the door. Look at the door. Look at the door. Look at the door. All right. I didn't even come near that door, bro. I, didn't I swear. Touch the door. I didn't see you touch the door. No, I didn't come anywhere near that door. Whoa. Just started moving on its own. I heard something behind me, and then that happened. Dude, uh, that that's was cool. Crazy. Cause I don't remember. I mean, I opened the doors. Maybe something was in here. Maybe it was moving when you walked up. I thought you wanted to get out of here. I do. Let's go. <laughs> that was cool though. Uh, I forgot how to get out of here now. Yeah, I don't need to get out of here. I think it's oh through this door. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Oh, Sorry, big door, heavy. All right, let me go through here. Jeez, that scared me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I didn't know this one. Watch your head right here. I feel much better being with you, though. I'll tell you. Oh no, same. Like when you're walking around alone. Oh, shoot. And I'll tell you what, like, if you're kind of new to, like, exploring and doing, like, ghost hunting and stuff, it's going to be a lot scarier the less people you have. So, I mean, yeah. it's not always that fun. Like, people want to bring, like, 20 people with them. Yeah, ghost it's hard to hear anything. It's hard to hear anything. I mean, that's why it's kind of good to be alone, or at least with one other person. Cause at least you guys know that you ain't BSing each other if you're hearing noises, you know. And split up. You know, if you got the boss to do it like James and I did, yeah. it's uh, it's scary though. That's not the way we go. Yeah. That's how you get out. Pretty sure. No, yeah, we'll go yeah. this way. We'll go this way. Okay, you go that way and then come back. Oh, I'm serious, bro. I don't think that's the way out. Huh? I don't think that's the way up. It is. It is? Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. See, I told you. It's nice to meet me. Nice to meet me, too. Mm -hmm. Bro, what a crazy place, man. Yo, I can't wait to show you my footage of my flashlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was literally dying right in my hands, like something was messing with it. Mm -hmm. And, like, I didn't like it. I pulled out my iPhone light and. For some reason, it can't mess around with your phone light. 
but like real powerful type lights. Like it, it just drains it and they happen right here. Right? I was walking through this house. Hmm. Can you oh, like right when you came in? Yeah, it was like almost instantly within the first couple seconds. Oh weird. Me walking in. We love you. I didn't say that. I miss them. They're good spirits. They didn't try to hurt us. Well, yeah. Thank you for not hurting us. Yeah, although I did feel like something touched me. That was really freaky. There is something bad, though, in that death chamber area. I mean, I don't know if it's 100% like Carol Cole or I don't know. I have a feeling it's something that's pretending to be like one of those murders. So bold out here. Well, supposedly a bunch of people died in this area right here. Are you ready to go back in the infirmary? No. <laughs> no, I'm good. Hey, we got a pretty good long video. Make sure you check out my boy Omar's video over here. Hey. He got a different video and all kind of cool stuff. Yeah. He got a cool video to film for you guys. So I love you. See you on the next adventure. Till next time, peace. Love you guys. Hey, big shout out to my boy James for joining me on this adventure and making it where, like, I... I was alone, but I wasn't alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, we kind of, like, split mm -hmm. off, and you're going to get a lot different of a video we if you alone, go. Like, at least half. Yeah, half the video we were alone, and, man, like I said, it's if you want to get scared, <laughs> go alone somewhere like this, especially, like, a super haunted location like this. Oh, my word. But Seriously. let me know how you're enjoying these raw-type uncut videos. A lot of you seem to like them. And I just wanna wanna make sure that you wanna watch more videos like this, and I will create them because they're a lot easier to make. And you know what? They're, in my opinion, they're more fun because we're we're like in the moment, and you're here with us. It's almost like yeah, it's almost like you're here with us. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, it's, it's like a live stream kind of. So I mean, that's one of the reasons why I enjoy it. But yeah, make sure to check out my boy and check out my friends here at Nevada State Prison. Highly recommend this place if you're looking for a super, like 100% real active paranormal hotspot. And I mean, even if you're into aliens and you're not really into like paranormal stuff, like there's some alien history here too. I mean, it's Nevada, you know, Area 51, but we're North Nevada. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Gotta go for now before we leave. Thank you.